Congressman, uh, I know you're going to be traveling with uh, Senator McConnell in a pretty tough uh, battle with uh, Allison Lundergan Grimes here in Kentucky. How important is Senator McConnell to your district and to eastern Kentucky? Uh, of, of enormous importance. Uh, if, we, if he's elected Senate Majority Leader, uh, the things we can try to do for East Kentucky and the rest of the state will be almost boundless. Uh, to, to us not to take advantage of that uh, would not be very smart. So he, he is uh, critically important. He, he will be elected the majority leader. He's extremely knowledgeable of our needs and problems that, that we're working on. He's worth, worked with me uh, during my entire time up there, except the first four years that I preceded him, uh, to help build water districts, bring city water to people, to help with our uh, uh, sewage disposal problems that we've tried to solve with the Pride program. Uh, he's helped us build roads, uh, helped us with the Lake Cumberland uh, drawdown that we had to repair the dam. I could go on and on and on about the things he's done for us that we simply could not have done without him. Uh, is there any question in your mind that he does not have a record to run on? Um, or is that something that maybe is yet to come in the campaign or something that he hasn't promoted? He's just maybe not that kind of individual that would, that would talk about all of these uh, areas that he's uh, worked with you and improved uh, Eastern Kentucky? Well, I, I hope and expect that he will begin to talk about those things during his campaign because he's got a tremendous record uh, of, of helping people with personal problems. Uh, but the, the, uh, the uh, public projects that he's helped us develop, the flood walls around the towns along the Cumberland River for these last 30 years, uh, he's been a critical player in helping us pro uh, people, uh, protect people from flooding, bringing them fresh water, helping us with the straight pipe problem, uh, you know, in the hills, and, and on and on. I hope and trust he will begin to talk about those things because he's got an incredible record. How important is seniority and uh, what he's, uh, the position he's in uh, today and the position that he could be if he's reelected? Is it as you also have that seniority as important as uh, we hear him talk about? Yes, it is important. It's a real factor. It's a real factor. Uh, seniority is, uh, is, whether you like it or not, is, is important. That's what they make their decisions on. Uh, and I'm a good example of that. Uh, I mean, I'm chairman now of the Appropriations Committee. Uh, I doubt my talent would have gotten me there, but for seniority. And I, so, so I, think, uh, I think seniority is of critical importance. To give that up is, is a big disadvantage to us. Now, there are a couple of um, issues that, uh, that uh, Ms. Grimes is hammering him on um, pretty well. Uh, one is uh, the minimum wage, which uh, some people uh, characterize as a livable wage. Uh, she is in favor of that, of raising the minimum wage or the livable wage. He is opposed. Um, you probably agree with him, but I don't know. We've ever discussed that. Uh, is that a strong position for him to take in Kentucky? We're told by the experts that know these things that, that uh, increasing the minimum wage would actually cost us jobs and cost us some small businesses uh, because uh, if, if we raise that wage so that the entry-level worker at the McDonald's or what have you, uh, it's gonna, they're going to cut down on the number of employees in order to accommodate that new wage scale, which means we're losing jobs. Uh, and so the experts tell us, t tell me, and I'm sure him too, that this is a job killer. Uh, no one wants anybody to make a better wage than me, but if it's going to mean that we're squeezing somebody else out of their job, you know, it's a different story. She's also criticized him for caring more about mine owners than miners. Do you see that criticism? I don't see that. Uh, the, there's been nobody who's been a stronger advocate for coal, coal mining in Kentucky than Mitch. Uh, mining jobs. That's what it's all about. That's what we, we talk about all the time. And uh, in order to mine coal, you've got to have somebody who owns the company that, that does it. Uh, and uh, if you favor the industry and the extraction of coal and the people that work to make that happen, then I, I think you're pretty strong for the coal miners. 
Uh, and finally, sir, on um, uh, job creation. Uh, again, Ms. Grimes has, has pointed to his record uh, of 30 years. Uh, if, and Kentucky's still not doing as well as I know you would like for uh, the state to do. Uh, can he take responsibility for job creation in the Commonwealth? Uh, there's been time and again that he and I have worked together uh, to uh, help recruit a, a company into our, in, my, in my region to hire people. Uh, I'm thinking of several plants along the I-75 corridor through my district, uh, you know, from Richmond on south, where we've been able to recruit uh, several thousand jobs in that region. I could not have done that without Mitch's help because you've got to have that seniority on the other side of the Capitol to try to uh, make things work. Thank you for talking with us. Thank you.